It's Master Chef. Excellent, sounds good. Yeah, it's all local stuff, so it's well, from Wales, but... <laughs> <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Hi there, my name's right. Charlie, and I'll be cooking a uh, cod with black potato and mashed, mashed pudding, and asparagus and hollandaise sauce for you. Excellent. Lovely, sounds good. Um, and this yeah, my name's Freddie, also. Uh, I'll be cooking a lamb mince mixed spice meatball. With some potato dough from Mars and some parmesan coated fried aubergine. Sounds good, lovely. Yeah, my honey, Let's go for it. Time starts now. Sometimes I get a hump in the back. Sometimes I'm going to get a hump in the back. Sometimes I'm going to get a hump in the back. So remind me what's going on. You got right, so first of all, I'm making the potatoes. Yeah. They obviously take the longest to cook, so I'm just trying to save time here by putting them on first. So why like salt marsh lamb? Um, like just for the season. Yeah. It's just like best. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've got, you got quite a lot to do actually. I have a lot to do. Yeah, a lot to do. Probably I'm in the most pressure time. An hour goes quickly. Yeah, how you doing? So, uh, what did you get out to? What did you do? Well, I do. I'm a chef at the head chef at the Lido in in, in the village. What sort of cooking? Is uh, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, yeah. and that sort of thing. So, right, nice. Yeah. How long have you been cooking for? Uh, ten years. So, since I, since I le since I since I <laughs> since I left Clifton. So, yeah. yeah. Well, nearly, nearly since I left Clifton. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was in East Town for a year, yeah. and then I was in Schoolhouse for the remainder. Oh, Moved nice. across. <laughs> Are you East End, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always. I, I don't leave the schoolhouse as well. Oh, it, was, it was always a temporary measure. <laughs> I'll cover the microphone for that. <laughs> but, no, it's good. Thank you. Enjoy the food. Cheers. Thank you. Looking forward to it. In here, I've got my four peppercorns, my blade of mace, my slice of onion, my water and my vinegar all stirring up nicely to make a taste for the hollandaise. I need to produce it now, as you can see. Reduce it down to about... I'm thinking roughly half a tablespoon to one tablespoon full. I sort of play it by eye, really. And you go on, on smell, like other things like that. Right, that's what you're doing? Uh, no, I'm just getting the meatballs frying. Uh, I'm pretty stressed, I'm not going to lie. So you're happy with how it's going at the moment? It could have been better, but you know. I mean, what could have been better? Um, kept better times with sort of things, better organisation. But I guess. Hello. So are you going to get on Skin's my favourite bit, so definitely. All fish skin or just particularly cold, I'd say. Yeah. Um, it must be very, very difficult indeed um, watching your son Charlie in this. Uh, Judy, um, it must be very difficult indeed seeing your son cook in real time like this. I'm very anxious for you. You do realise you're not able to give him any help, no I, hand signals. I am quietly trying to catch his eye, but he won't look at me. Yeah, that's against the rules. You yeah, know. Have, you spotted, well. have you spotted any mistakes? Well, I think one of the pans seems to have sort of got to no water left in it, um, but uh, hopefully he hasn't bought, uh, burnt the carrot. So I think it's the carrots. So happy with that? No. Nope. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah. I've got a surprise for this touch as well. Okay, we're going off. Yeah, I'm just pacing up the black food and mash at the moment, James. And then I'll uh, be moving on to the cod, which is just about ready. So don't be shy. Yeah, it's not hard. I was chilling on Saturday night. I was jealous. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Hit me. Yeah, it's 95. 
this is so much lamb and some yep. fire with uh, red currant sauce. Uh, yeah, so uh, basically on the plate I've got carrots which have been steamed. Yeah. I've got some uh, potatoes which have also been steamed, and uh, some beans which have been steamed. And this is a uh, uh, red cabbage which has been done with uh, honey and black currants. Excellent. Look forward to it. Looks good. Mm. Oh, I'm surprised. I didn't think I was going to like that. Yes, it is, yeah. A bit of potato. I think after a chat, maybe a bit overcooked on the lamb, but yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It's decent lamb, so it's must be a good butcher. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well done. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Right, basically what I have here is a delicious hollandaise sauce with asparagus and a cod, uh, fried cod with black pudding and mashed potato base underneath and uh, the surprise finish of dill on top. Excellent. <laughs> Very nice, nice and lemony. Nicely cut looking uh, cod as well. Thanks very much. And the dill as well, very nice. Excellent. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Uh, some potato dauphinoise, classic potato dauphinoise with a twist with a bit of uh, Greek yogurt and some lamb mince uh, mixed herb meatballs. Lovely. Enjoy. Sounds good. Mm hmm. Try those one more time. Try and get the yogurt. Fantastic. Well done. Taste. John's was, it was it was all delicious. I was just surprised by the cabbage. I don't think the ca I didn't think that cabbage was going to be very nice. Mm. With all honey, blueberries, mm. and red cabbage, I thought, oh god, that's like a recipe for disaster. Mm. But it was surprisingly tasty. Yeah. Certainly, John didn't sort of prep his own lamb into a nice shape and all that, so that was all done by the butcher already, mm. so it's a bit of a hard one to, mm. to give. Freddie is, I'll give him a, a, a six for his skill, he made he made his meatballs from scratch, he made a dauphin was, his dauphin was was undercooked, right. meatballs were, the white wine, the red wine wasn't cooked out, right. it was an undercooked, it was tasty, I liked it, he, did, he used cumin, cinnamon, um, Paprika, some interesting flavours. Mm. You know, I quite like the idea of putting the yogurt in his dauphin was, so it kind of went with the lamb a little bit. It was quite a good idea. Right. I think skills, Charlie definitely. He gave himself the most to do, right. and he had to make hollandaise, uh, a mash. He had to cook his fish. He, he had a lot more organisation. Charlie's Charlie managed to disguise his fish with a bit of dill, <laughs> which, was, <laughs> which was good. I feel like he put the most into his his whole mm. overall meal, and I actually when I ate everything together, it kind of worked. The lemon was just too lemony, but I think it probably showed more skill mm. and a better overall taste. Okay. Have a winner.